Welcome to my PS4 vs Pro comparison video for the persistence on the PlayStation VR. But first, if you haven't already, then subscribe, leave a comment, a like, or share this video. But the question is, is there some big difference between the persistence running on an original PS4 and the persistence running on a PS4 Pro? Quite simply put, you'll be hard pressed to spot the differences. The Pro is slightly less jagged around the edges, but in the dark atmospheric confines of the persistence, it's not that noticeable in the headset where everything is actually more like life-size. So for whatever size screen you're watching this on, you'll be even harder pressed to spot that from these recordings of the PSVR's social screen. Basically, you're not going to see an earth-shattering difference on the Pro in this case. The textures on the Pro are a bit more detailed so that any text or complex images that are shown on the multiple of displays throughout the spaceship have that little bit of extra clarity that is noticeable, particularly for text. But this is no great game changer in this case. The persistence looks and plays exceptionally well on both systems, so print yourself into a new clone, grab some fun high-tech weapons, or if you prefer a big heavy metal stick, to help you put down some space zombies. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, or share any of this or any of my other videos. And remember that death is not the end. It's merely the prelude to another clone being printed. Where the hell are we, Serena? Listen, the deck portal is out. I need you to recover a data model from the storm. I'll unlock the door for you. Understood. The console should open up. Is there a shield in this suit? Yes, but it only lasts a moment. You have to time your parry carefully. Don't be afraid to use stealth. You can't fight them all, you know. 